around two millennia ago, this beautiful place here in southern Uzbekistan was built on the old trading routes. Back at that time, borders as we know it today weren't really as they are today. A lot more freer travel and that's something that's going to come up a little bit later about freedom and some very, very sobering thoughts of where I am now and what's over there and what's going on over there. Now, why am I here in Uzbekistan? Well, I've been here for it's about two and a half weeks and I've been creating images for a future publication, a publication that's going to be called uh, The 100 Experiences of Uzbekistan. So they've invited me over here, the, the publishing company, to create images. A new way of looking at Uzbekistan from a foreigner's eyes, just to see what I can do with their country. So I've been doing all sorts of stuff. So for example, I uh, have been in Tashkent. I arrived in Tashkent and then I flew over to um, south, the, the western part of Uzbekistan, saw the old Aral Sea, which has been drained in the Soviet times for, for the, the vast cotton fields that were here in Uzbekistan, discovered Moynak, where there's beautiful old boats that are there, and was playing around with the local kids, teaching them English, teaching me a little bit of Uzbek. And by the way, Assalamu alaikum. We are here in Uzbekistan, so we must say hello in Uzbek. And uh, then just driving eastwards and going all over the place. I've done so much. I've been to the, the cities of Hiva. I've been to Samarkand. I've been to Bukhara, other places, and here in Alexandria, Oxiana. But why is this not about photography? What is this about? Well, I'm going to go to the next place. I'm going to go back, find my traveling companion that's been helping me. His name is Ferus, an amazing photographer from Uzbekistan. And what I'm going to do is take you to some historical sites and then we're going to talk about history in the making and some very, very sobering thoughts about here and over there. The next place that we've moved on to is called Fayez Tepe. Now this is a Buddhist temple dating from the first century BC and um, beautiful old complex coming here. Again, hear the silence of where we are, but just about 500 meters there, there's a border. I'll explain in a minute, actually the next destination, what's going on and, and how you should really value what it is that you've got. Here, it's interesting to note, for example, that we've got Buddhism here, we've got Islam, we've got Christianity in Uzbekistan, lots of religious freedom. Freedom, the absolute key word for where we are here. But over there, things are very, very different. Let's explain in the next segment, but just enjoy Fayez Tepe here in the beautiful morning of Uzbekistan. We've now come to our last place where I'm going to film and explain a few things. So here, this is Kala Tepe, another Buddhist uh, temple, an old temple, same, similar age to uh, Fayez Tepe, beautiful. Again, you can hear the silence here. There's nothing here apart from this. This is the Amudarya River. Yesterday, when I came here with the group that I'm in, I saw something in the distance. I thought, what's that? That is the natural border between Uzbekistan and that is Afghanistan. I'm sure you've probably seen in the news what's going on in Afghanistan. One of the members of our group actually has a friend in Kabul. Last night Kabul fell to the Taliban. About 90 minutes drive from here is the town of Mazar-i-Sharif, I think it is, and there is just one heck of a catastrophe going on there. What people have worked for for 20 years, their freedom, has now overnight gone 
and it's very, very sobering to stand here in freedom to look over there into what is essentially hell on earth. I don't think any of us could actually imagine what's going on over there right now. We've got a pretty good idea, but this is some of the things that you're not seeing all the time when you're a photographer and when I'm doing travel photography. Sometimes here is the good and there is the bad. It just beggars belief what's going on over there and I just don't really want to think too much about it. Yesterday morning I was having my breakfast and I was thinking, you know what, I'm sat here eating nice breakfast, I'm with my friends, with the team, we're all talking, we're joking, there's no joke over there. So next time you might be in wherever it is, a coffee shop and complaining that you ordered uh, macchiato or cappuccino and you ended up with a latte, you've got first world problems that are paling in comparison to what's going on over there. You really are. Come here, look over there, stop, look, contemplate about what's going on right there. Women's rights here I've seen in Uzbekistan. People have so much freedom here, they really do. There's a lot of religious freedom here. I've seen Muslim, I've seen Orthodox Christian, and here we have Buddhist complex. So much freedom that is here. Yes, there are maybe issues here and there, but overall it's a very, very free country. People are very welcoming, amazing people here in Uzbekistan. Over there, it's another story. Think about that. See you sometime, somewhere, on another vlog, but until then, contemplate what's going on in Afghanistan.